So yesterday we got a report that was kind of an early indication of an economic slowdown. Now, this is actually going to be impacting SHIB in a little bit more broader of a way than people think, and I want to discuss it with you guys. Now, why this is important is we've obviously gone through these periods where we've had high inflation and high interest rates, and these are very much heavily in affected crypto as a whole, right? That's why we've talked about it as much as we have. And the big thing has been trying to get a lot of this stuff back under control, kind of try to right the ship, turn things back in the right direction. Well, this jobs report that we got yesterday may be an early indication that this is in fact happening. In fact, U.S. payrolls increased by only 150,000 in October, which was way less than expected. Now, if you guys remember, we had that really hot jobs report back in September, 297,000 jobs added. And so we, we basically fell off a cliff in this regard. This was the lowest period of job additions in the last two years, which is obviously a big deal. Because obviously the Fed has wanted to get, you know, the economy basically under control, start to get this stuff going the right the right direction. So not only did we see this cooling, we saw wage increases also in cooling. We saw unemployment on the rise. We actually rose to 3.9%, the highest level since January of 2022, right? We're, we're heading the right direction, okay? And it's it's been this long road, this long process. So we are, in fact, beginning to go through this economic cool down. It likely means also that we're going to see GDP dropping. Spending is going to drop. Now, this is a good thing from uh, a standpoint for the longevity of crypto. All right. That's that's really the best way to explain it. The reason why I say that is because if people are out spending their money less on um, what's consumables, there you go, on consumables, they're going to try to hoard their money. They're going to try to put it in things that gain value. And right now, that's essentially what crypto is doing. It's it's beginning to gain value again. We're starting to get into the bull market. Again, we're now at the highest market cap we've had throughout this bear market cycle, $1.3 trillion. Now, why this is going to affect SHIB directly is because, again, SHIB has a direct correlation with BTC. When BTC tries to move to the upside, SHIB is going to move right along with it. Just look at the sea of green that we're seeing today. SHIB up about 2.5%. BTC is dragging SHIB right now. Now, this doesn't mean that we're going to instantly fly to the moon. It means we're probably going to have a little bit of a tempered run into the Bitcoin halving. And that's fine, right? It, it doesn't matter that it's taking this long of a period of time. As long as the heights of the bull market cycle are, are exciting and explosive and we're hitting some of these great price levels, that's the only thing that matters. This is how you essentially go through that healthy correction in the overall market. And the signs are showing that the economy is starting to flip around, which means again, that the bottom of markets should in fact be in. So this is a great sign. If you're a ship holder, it's a great sign if you're a crypto holder in general. So we obviously just have to monitor this and, and see how things progress. Now, again, don't forget that SHIB is in fact stuck in this, this range that we've struggled with this five zero seven eight through five zeros uh, eight zero. It's just it's been a tough range for SHIB for a very long period of time. You can see we've, we've, we're have we essentially range bound, okay? We're just not moving. We're not exploding quite yet. And I really didn't have us exploding here. It looks like basically until the end. Uh, well, that's like November, but the end of November. But I, I think we may slowly begin to climb after probably about, oh, I'd say a few more weeks of consolidation. And that may not be what people want to hear, but just look at what we did here back in June, right? We got stuck sideways. We actually were... We trended to the downside several times. We held this uh, bullish trend on here. Right now, SHIB is still bullish, guys. All right. We're actually printing a very big um, bullish, whoa, very big bullish pendant here. I don't want to put text on here. Uh, where's my lines? There you go. Big bullish pendant here. You can see that it is, in fact, playing out. So we'll obviously see if this breaks by, it looks like, uh, about four or five days from now. So that's what I got for you guys. The, the turnaround is happening. The signs are there. We're getting close to a bull market. These are the exact signs that we needed to see for SHIB to begin to make its run. So I appreciate you guys as always. Love to hear your thoughts here, but show your support below. Have a great day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.